A Romance from the Fields by C.F. Overton, read for LibriVox.org by Shanna Burns. How be I getting along, sir? Why, thank ye, I can't complain. The taties and crops look splendid, since we got that there last rain. The cattle and birds does middling, the missus and children's well, and the future looks bright and cheery, so far as I can tell. I look like a Dutchman, do I, with them feathers in my hat? Well, perhaps they're a trifle gaudy, but I'll wear em spite of that. My talisman I calls em for, they came of a wondrous bird, that completely changed our fortunes, tis the strangest tale you've heard. Afore you left for England, you may mind I went to the fields, was nigh played out with farming, and read off the thumping yields. Them diamond claims was giving, so resolved my luck to try. The drought and cruel lung sick had bothered us proper lie. I got what I could together, and we started right ahead, Mrs. and me and Bill here, with two little girls as is dead. I didn't do much at digging, but money could then be earned, by any willing fellow, who to work in earnest turned. Wages was high and I prospered, till fever came to the place, and I was unable to work, sir, and our children drooped apace. T'was a sad time, I can tell you, and off should we have starved. But a neighbour he'd been a sailor, his substance with us halved. Good, I should say, that he was good, a thorough kind-hearted brick. Poor fellow before very long, though. He himself fell sorely sick. My wife did all she could, kind soul, and nursed him night and day, but with me and the children poorly, she'd a hardish part to play. Poor Jim didn't get no better, and it seems made up his mind, as how he must die at the field, sir, and all he'd to leave behind. Would quit to my missus who always had been his kindest friend, t'wasn't much for things were dear then, and his coin had come to an end. Well, all there was he made over, then poor Jim was laid to rest. We got his watch and knick-knacks, but what the wife liked best was a couple of dorking hens, sir, and a fine young Spanish cock. Quite right, sir, them's the feathers, that I fear give you a shock. The missus was fond of poultry, and was pleased with what we got, but hunger is hard to bear, sir, so the birds came to the pot. Our little girls lay a-dying, and food we all must have, so one by one the fowls were killed, but our bairns we could not save. The young cock's turn came last but, to kill him we all were loth. But Billy and me in the fever lay, so the wife made us some broth. And now was the strangest thing for when that bird was drawn his crop, contained, well, guess I assure you, my wife was fit to drop. A diamond, yes, a brilliant, without a fault or flaw, as good a gem for its size, you know, as ever a merchant saw. Four hundred pounds we sold it for, and we bought shares in a claim, that doubled soon the sum we had, don't that bird deserve some fame? Thank God the fever left us, little Billy was the first to mend, and after a while I got stronger, and could to work attend. But we'd all had enough of the field, sir, and longed to come back home, to settle down in the dear old place, nor want again to roam. I look like a Dutchman, do I? Well, all that we have we owe, to that young bird I reckon, and my gratitude I shall show. I shall sport his blue-black plumes then, for it does not off betide, when killing a fowl to cook you find a plum in his inside. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.